Hello and welcome back to the Gourmet Gambit. Today it's all about a very emblematic French dish, the cassoulet. There are actually many recipes of this dish here in France. So this recipe is basically a Castelnaudary style cassoulet. So guys, there's quite some work to do, so let's get started. Castelnaudary is one of the towns where cassoulet originated and where they still make their cassoulet in the famous clay pots which are called a cassoulet. This is quite a time consuming recipe because we're going to make our own duck confit and it's all going to start off the day before. The morning before we're going to start curing our duck legs and by the way you can also use goose, just plain coarse sea salt, natural sea salt, crushed black peppercorns and again sea salt, nice fresh thyme, bay leaves, little bits, garlic, just chopped parsley. Just give it a good massage, they like that very much. Film. And we're going to preserve this in the fridge for 24 hours. White beans soak overnight in just plain cold water. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make my chicken stock the day before as well, so we get enough time tomorrow to build our cassoulet. So we got our pork belly and we cut up the pork rind and in the pan. If you got some chicken bones leftovers or anything like that in the pan. Onion, cloves, garlic, cut in half in the pot, celery stalks in the pot, leek, wash first, sand, cut, in the pot, of course, you wash all your vegetables, carrots, in the pot, oops, thyme, fresh, in the pot, bay leaves, nutmeg, in the pot, black peppercorns, in the pot, chicken stock, you can use powder, liquid or cubes, we're not going to salt this too much to start off, because we're going to use it several times for the cassoulet and we don't want this dish to become over salted. Three tablespoons of duck fat. Fill it up with a good amount of water. Pork belly. So we're going to heat up our pot on the maximum and once it starts boiling we lower the fire up to the minimum and we let it simmer low and slow. After half an hour cooking we're going to take out our pork belly and the rest is going to simmer for another two and a half hours. So as our stock is going to reduce slowly it's going to concentrate more and more all these beautiful flavors. After half an hour we're going to take our pork belly out, we're going to let it cool down and then we're going to preserve it in the fridge for the next day. After one and a half an hour we're going to take the pork rind out as well. And we're going to let this cool down and we preserve this in the fridge overnight. And we're going to let it simmer another hour. We're going to taste our stock. And we're going to start with a tablespoon of salt. We're going to come back in half an hour to taste it again. If it needs some more salt. So we're going to taste our stock again. Mm. It's nicely salted, not too much. So our stock is ready. Take out all of the vegetables and herbs. And we're going to filter our stock. It goes a little bit quicker this way. And our stock is ready for tomorrow. And finally, after 24 hours, and we're going to start making our duck coffee. We're going to clean our duck legs under cold running water to get all the excess of salt off. Don't have to take off all the herbs. It's really a question of getting up the salt. We're going to leave our pots of uh, duck fat in hot water, so it's going to melt a bit. Once your duck fat is melted, pour in half a glass of water. The water is going to be on the bottom and it's going to avoid your duck legs to get stuck on the bottom. Now we're going to pour in our duck legs. 
garlic clove with the skin, another one and a third one, some thyme and we're going to warm this up to 90 degrees celsius and we're going to cook it for two hours low and slow. We're going to drain and rinse our beans, rinse with cold water. So my stock is still cold, we're going to pour our beans in there. When you're going to cook your beans and you start off with cold stock, you're going to avoid the thermal shock that could split your beans open. Now we're going to heat up our beans up to the boiling point, then we're going to lower the fire and give it a slow boil for 45 minutes. One hour, we want our beans to be done, but still a little bit chewy. We got our salted bacon. We don't use uh, any smoked uh, bacon or anything else. Uh, nothing smoked in the in the traditional cassoulet. I'm gonna take out the pork rind. Cut this up to little bits like this. And we're gonna chop this finely with some garlic, cut here. preserve this in the fridge and we're going to use this to mix with the beans when we're going to build our cassoulet. Now the beans are really on a regular boil and we're going to skim off all that scum what comes up. You have to do this uh, once in a while. Really no big deal and also don't forget to check out once in a while your temperature, the temperature of your duck coffee. Test your beans they are naturally done, but they still got some consistency, some chewiness, and that's exactly what we want. Take off the heat. I'm going to take our beans out. And we're going to preserve the stock, of course. With our beans are still warm, we're going to mix our crushed bacon and garlic in the beans. And we're also going to pour some crushed pepper we're going to take our pork belly and we're going to cut it in nice chunks like this and we're going to fry this all in duck fat heat up a frying pan maximum heat put our pork belly in there We're going to preserve these. We're going to put our sorted this in there. And we're going to take our sorted this out. We're going to cut the uh, sausages in half. So we're going to use our pork rind to mix with our white beans when we're going to build our cassoulet and we're going to use the bart for the bottom and the sides of the cassoulet. Still quite some meat on there. So to build our cassoulet we're going to start off pork bart. A little bit of thyme on the bottom, some bay leaves, first some beans, some rind, pork belly, sausage, and we go on building. Again some rind, belly, sausages, a 
for more rain. We want to put in a bit, bits of meat and sausages. Just a little bit more beans. Get it a little bit even. Pork rind. We're going to put the duck confit on top of here when we start the last hour or 40 minutes of cooking. The deglazed duck fat and we're going to put our chicken stock on there. Now this is about the level we need and now we're ready to put it in the oven. 170 degrees Celsius, three, three and a half hours. And we're gonna come back every 40 minutes to see if we need some more stock and also to see how our crust is gonna shape itself. No breadcrumbs used on cassoulet. Please, you'll see it's gonna shape its own nice crust. So to heat it up evenly and progressively, uh, I'm gonna start with a cold oven. Now a duck confit to see if they're well done. Take a fork or a knife, it just goes in very easily. Filter the duck fat and preserve in your fridge. Duck fat is really amazing to cook with, to fry with and it's a very healthy fat. So the last uh, 45 minutes, we're going to put our duck comfy in there as well. And here we have it guys, a traditional cassoulet, the way it was made about a century ago in France. It is quite a job to do. But believe me, it's worth every minute of it. I really hope you enjoyed this recipe. Bon appétit and see you back soon. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And hit that bell. It's a great motivation for me.